As am I. Oh. Perfect. Should I bring us in? Sure. Go ahead and bring us in. Alrighty. Hello, everyone. Here's Hal up there on the cockpit there, dancing around, and uh, there's me inside there. A little bit small just because of my angle, but that's all right. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Good. So, uh, I heard you need me to cut you out of that cockpit, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, not out of the cockpit. No! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Wow. Cool. Uh, so, we got a bunch of stuff done. Well, I should say you got a bunch of stuff done, and I just, I helped a little bit. You helped a fair bit. Yeah, so, you know, why don't you walk us through what's changed? Okay, I'm just getting small names to this here. I don't know. Base. Plane. That's not how plane is spelt, but I don't really care for right now. <laughs> ASDF. Bam. There. Okay, so what have we done? Um, well, I guess we're facing this thing right here. So we looked for a landing gear mod because... I don't know. <laughs> it's just weird looking when you have a plane that has this big wheels and stuff. Um, they just don't look right. Um, yeah, and then I mostly rebalanced this wing. It is slightly goofy somewhere in here. The curve isn't quite right, but I'm going to save that for later. Hal jiggered in uh, this uh, connector here, and that was good. And <laughs> Hal it in, huh? also jiggered it in. <laughs> Um, right. put in these oxygen tanks, and, um, oh yeah, these are the other landing gear. I kind of wanted them, like, out here on the wing, but that's okay. Um, green shot right there. Zero, and green shot. Sorry. Right. Let's see here if we go... Um, were these solar panels on the top? They were on the top before last time. Yeah, they they were on, they were there. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Lots, all the hydrogen except for retro thrusters, because it's supposed to be a flying thing, so in theory we won't really need them? I don't know, we're going to take it for a test flight. Yeah. It'll probably crash and burn. I was going to say, famous <laughs> last words of the whole, eh, it's okay, we don't need them. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a little bit in, of sort of open space here that maybe we need to finish clogging up something. Um, which, let's see. We have a couple of placements for ion thrusters, but of course that'll wait till we get in space. I just need kind of one of them in here. And a couple of unfinished uh, hydrogen, no, not hydrogen, uh, atmospheric thrusters in here. These here are the unfinished modular ion thrusters, which also are not quite done. And um, just sort of finishing up, I guess, this side's under part. It's all sort of flat and whatnot. Um, this one is not quite, but it's, I don't know, I think it's good enough for a, a test flight. Well, the, the whole idea of today is just basically getting this thing off the ground and mm -hmm. seeing if we can get it off the ground. Yeah. So. Uh, I haven't really scouted too much of the land around to see the worst places to be, but... Um, I was going to say, can... I think this is about as flat as you're going to get anywhere in the near area. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I wonder if we'll... I could, like, launch it off of that hill over there. You should be able to launch it off of the ground. Yeah, hopefully. You've got three large hydrogen thrusters on the back of this thing. If you can't get up <laughs> the speed, you've got larger issues there, buddy. <laughs> could be pretty heavy. Not exactly uh -huh. made out of carbon fiber. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe we should finish this little. You, you want to take this uh, old landing gear off? Uh, yeah, do it. Ready? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Nice. Yeah. She's rolling though. Yeah. Apparently, it's a her. There you go. Uh, okay, well, that works. Good. Um, 
So that would mean just sort of finish off. Now there's, I guess, a, the ability to put on rotating wheels and such. So, but that's not where I'm at right now. So, um, there. Cool. And what sort of these? These are just ramp blocks. So, yeah, just, some ramp. Yeah, just put some the two by ones on there. Cool. I'll just add a couple of uh, these guys in here. We'll have to hit that key color up and put them in. I didn't realize that was a one by one block. That is awesome. Yeah. Holy crap. That's pretty good. That is. Yeah. That is absolutely awesome. That means you can do that. The only problem is the air vent. What about it? Does it still function there? Yeah. Really? Yep. Even though it's encased in metal? Yep. What? Because it has because <laughs> it has oxygen, there's the ability for it to have oxygen where it's hmm. at. Okay. So I always left that space open because I was I was you know, thinking it made actual uh, common sense. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Um, actually, no. That would that would have long time. that would have technically blocked it. So yeah, it's okay. There you go. Cool. And what did I do down here? I think I just had um, I don't know. Whatever. For right now, I'm just gonna make it work. At X rotate onto my head. And um, I must have done it with like. You did a thruster on one side. I know. So, yeah, the thruster's right up against the 2 by one ramp. It's the ion thruster. Oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, after this little sort of finishing cut here. Right up. There you go. Oh. But I just want to see this thing fly. Yeah, me too. You had it, it like hangs out one block in, so that the thruster, the nozzle of the thruster, I think is flush with the, yeah, is flush with the square in front of it. Okay, I think I just put the wrong kind of block there, but I don't. It's okay. It's hidden. Um. Come on, I had it. There. I think that was it, right? Yep. Okay. I, I, don't think you, I don't think you did these on the other side, though. Hmm. Yeah, no, you, def you left it flat out there. Oh. Okay, well, it's quick and easy to do. Yeah. Maybe, if I get my rotations right. Alright, there we go. There. <laughs> And it's still Space Engineers, folks, so I'm doing the uh, the repainting because, well, Space Engineers <laughs> yeah. is doing the whole... The client can't paint right now. Yeah. Why? Why not? Yeah, it's a little annoying. So. Um, hmm. uh, I really wonder if I should fill this in or not. Meh. You know what? Maybe for this test flight I might just... It, yeah, because if, if the whole thing blows up, then you're going to have to rebuild it anyway, so this way you don't feel so bad about it. <laughs> I don't want to. It's a test flight. Yeah, it's a test flight. It's a test flight and you're not taking it into space as far as I know. Uh, not really. So I won't be able to stop. Well, no, I'd have to rotate. I'd, is there a single gyro on this thing? Uh, I don't think so. There might be. I don't know, I didn't place one. I don't think I placed one. Check the lineup. The... There might be one, because I think I no, may have no. placed one. I don't see one. Okay. Let's quickly okay, let's... put on, like, one or two. I'm going to just drop one on there. It's, it's a small ship, you don't need much. Yeah. I've I've got the uh, parts for it. Okay. 
All right, well, uh, I'm going to hop in and... Let me see. Let's put it right there. Okay. No, no. There you go. You have a gyro. Cool. Good luck. How much fuel ah. do you have? Did you get? We got it up to what, like thirty-four percent or something like that. Something like that. It's all hydrogen currently. Yeah. Well, I won't necessarily flatter too much if oh. it even moves. Okay, so, what do we got going on? <laughs> it, it's going to move. The question is, is it going to fly? <laughs> okay, i got to adjust my vision. Oh, might wanna, heck? Yeah, I might want to turn your parking brake on for a second. Uh, brake is... There Eight? you go. Yep. Cool. Okay. Um, so, I set you up with a master thrust control for hydrogen thrusters. It should be spot nine or something like that. Oh, yeah, there it is. That sounded like that was them. <laughs> Your thrusters are turned on, sir. Okay. Um. Your downward thrusters are firing. It's oh, why is that? It's basically trying to keep the ship from falling. Hmm. Yeah, like it's, that. it's a thing. Okay. Let's turn your parking brakes off and you're ready to go. Okay. Uh, we're in with this, okay. Seems pretty good. Oh god, the trees. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Um, have you tried bringing the nose up? It's not really nosing up. Perch. <laughs> Hmm. Alright, let me go grab another gyro for you. Cause yeah, I think if we can get the nose tipped up. Maybe I need to... Looks like it handles pretty well, at least on the ground. Yeah, it, it's pretty good, actually. It's pretty... Hey, yep. you wanna hit your parking brake for a second? Thank you. That whole I don't want to get run over thing. I suspect I'll get it up in the air. I'll be flying for a little bit. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to land it. <laughs> it's going to be tough. Uh, it's been a long time since I've flown a plane like this uh, with the air done. Alright, so you now have uh, two gyros on. Oh boy. Scary hell. <laughs> so you should, be, you should actually be able to tip the, the uh, nose up now. Without doing anything other than pulling uh, whatever you have your flight controls mapped to, to nose up. Hmm. Doesn't really seem like it's doing. Because I'm moving my mouse all around and it's not really doing much. Well, it's not going to until you. Alright. Anyway, go for it. <laughs> okay. Oh. I am not liking that. It's a little bit drifty at time. All right, let's turn this thing around. Come on. And aim it right down there. There we go. Oh, why is it turning? It's going for why the land it? speed record. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a big rock there. Stay away from the rock. Yeah, it's drifting quite a bit. Here, I'll let uh, you take it for a go. It doesn't want to, like, go up. Oh. Might need to do some rejigger. Okay. Oh, I should have turned thrusters off. <laughs> Lying around, are you? Me? Airborne. 
airborne guy. Okay, how am I gonna get this thing to lift off the ground? Hmm. I'm wondering if it's a problem with the uh, the whole multiplayer thing again. Mm, maybe. Because that is one of the things that multiplayer has had happen before where vehicles don't operate quite right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, that was weird. Uh, Connection problem. Connection problem, no! Oh, chunky. There we go. <laughs> Did you get disconnected? Uh, nope, I'm still here. Okay. Well, it works pretty well on the ground. All right, that's... Let me try that one then and see if I can get it to, to fly any better. Yeah. We might need to get some more hydrogen in it pretty though. Pretty quick though. Yeah, I've got it. There's some just weird stuff going on with the uh with the, the ships, because I just had an issue where Half my hydrogen sh uh, engines weren't working. Oh, uh, okay. All right, so... I'm just sort of taxiing back over to you. Sure. Doo -doo. Oh, that's why, okay. Fast, but going 15. And good. There's just some weird stuff. Where'd you go? Oh, here over there. Perch. Okay. I'm grab some ice, maybe. A little bit full up on steel plates, but whatever. Yeah, you're 22 percent hydrogen. Okay. Parking brake on? Yeah. Okay. Yes, for some reason those drivers are not kicking in. Yeah. Yeah, it just won't quite lift the nose off. It maybe it's just because of the Maybe there's a downward force on the top of the jet? I don't know. Oh, what's weird is I can't get it to turn. Yeah, you gotta use uh, A and W or A and D to make it turn. But it's Yeah. Great. We're on electric power now. Mm. Yeah. Electric's not too bad because it's got those solar panels. Yep. That is really weird though that the... Uh, the gyros don't seem to be doing anything for it. Mm hmm. And then it just doesn't quite get enough speed to like pick up off ground. Period. Hmm. Yeah. That is random. Okay. <laughs> So the question is, is that, oh, you know what it might be? Mm. I put that other wing mod in, and the wing mod has uh, scripts on it specifically for flight dynamics. Okay. So, it, so it may be that 
it might be conflicting. Mm. Mm. Cause some of the flight mods don't like each other. <laughs> okay. Oh. That's fair. I can see the mods. You no, know, that aren't built by the same person might be. No, they're different person. They're different people. Some of it is um, is fine, but some of it has issues with each other. Okay. So that might be what we've got going on here. So what we may need to do is we may need to replace because the um, one of the wing mods mm -hmm. replace the basic blocks like the the vanilla blocks. Okay. With with their equivalent, but those equivalent um, operate as actual wings. They generate lift. Uh, okay. And, I, and I'm thinking that might be what the problem is. Right. Which means we'll basically have to cut the wings off of this thing and put them back on with the new blocks. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, the wings are so hard. <laughs> Yep. I'm gonna get some more hydrogen over to it. Considering how long it's taken me to get these wings. Yeah. All right. Ah, uh, so that I'm, I'm thinking that's what the problem is. Hmm. Yeah, because if you uh, look at Takashi's uh, menu on there. Yep. Down at the bottom, you'll see the plain block, light armor block. Yeah. And you notice that it replaces all the shapes. It, dupl right. it duplicates all the shapes that you had. But it does add a couple of more, too, because it gives you some rounded shapes and some uh, other things. So I'm, think so I'm thinking, yeah, that's what it needs to be, is it will have to hmm. replace this stuff. Which, you know, I mean, it's... Here. Let's go get rid of this stuff really quick. We are going to grab that one, uh, that one, and that one. So just basically replace it one row at a time. Um, okay. It just becomes a, a problem, you know, the front part here, because it's a little bit... <laughs> complicated. Okay, so I guess I need to get the Takashi one all loaded up somewhere. Put them here. Character duels. This guy. Grinder. Well, yeah, it looks I'm... like you're using the same generic block, so it's... You know. Make sure I understand. There, but, right? Yeah, so the Takahashi block has a script associated to it. Has a which? The Takahashi version of the blocks mm -hmm. have a script. And that script is internal to the block mod itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, what that block does is it it's used in calculating the lift. Right. So, so basically, you need your wings to be his block. But I think right. we can get away with just the surface of the block, out of the surface of the wing. I don't think it has to be the whole wing. Do you think we're going to have to do this underbody? Because I was thinking this is partially like a lifting body. Um, let's try it with the wings first and see if that generates enough lift for it. All right. And basically, just replace one row at a time. Do, 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 do. Is that the right carbon fiber? Alright, grind that back out. Replace it. Yeah, and I would say only worry about the um, angled ones. Don't worry about the flats. Okay. So that you don't break the wings. Mm hmm. Do, 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 do. Let's 
See, this is why we don't play with new mods on the uh, on camera. Wait, wait what? <laughs> That's <laughs> this is why we don't normally change mods up on the in mm. mid process. Oh, stuck on the wheel, I think. All right. All right. Well, there's up. Give a little bit of lift to this nose, I guess. Hopefully. I don't know. Gotta get that nose lifted up. So, yeah, maybe that'll be fine. No, because we wanted a ramp block. I wanted a ramp block. This is this one. Maybe that one. I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see if that how much lift that gives. In theory, it should be symmetric lift, right? I mean, I don't sure. Know. That makes sense in my brain, but I don't know if that acts. All right, I'm gonna try. It. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a suicide flight. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh man! And it's off. It's gone. I mean, <laughs> it's not off. Um, it does feel like it's trying to lift on the uh, on the side that I I already replaced. Okay. It. Um, I don't know if you want to give it a try and see if 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 that yeah, feels okay. like the same. I'll just keep on. I don't. I don't mind replacing a few more blocks before we try again. Okay. I like the view from here. Kind of nice. Putting these for things on my HUD. I mean, it's a cute ship. <laughs> Did you say it's cute? Uh huh. <laughs> Don't uh, press on the brakes. <laughs> you mean like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! There you go. Woo. Okay, did I replace these ones? Uh, you did on this side. Okay, but I didn't replace. Nope, you didn't do those shit. Okay. You gone. Yeah, so this might be one of those cases where we go in and use, like, um... Oh, what's that damn thing? The world builder? And swap mm. out the blocks. Mm, yeah. Okay. So. So. Grind these out. Bit that. Yeah. I mean, I can always take the mod out and... Of course, if I take the mod out, that may take the wings off at this point. At this point. So, yeah, I don't know enough about that particular mod since it was it was literally we just grabbed it like ten minutes before we started recording. So. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's the one that has the cool landing gear, though. So. Yeah. Can't really go wrong. Exactly. That was that was exactly why we grabbed it was because it was the yeah. Cool. You get the landing gear. Did you replace those ones? Yep. Okay. Get out of here.
Oh, plan. I already replaced those. Okay. That was why I welded them up. Okay. Um, did you do these? You didn't do the flat ones, right? No. Nope. Guys. And what? And not planning on it because if you take those out, you're gonna cut your ring off. That's fair. I guess that's where it gets a bit e. Yeah, there's a couple of areas that I didn't um, do everything in once mm -hmm. because I didn't want to separate the wing because you've got it. I think it's this block area is where it starts getting wonky. Yeah, it gets kind of thin. Yeah. Oh. Uh, come on, sure. thrusters. These little holes. Oh, well, it'd be cool if it lifted off, but that's all. It doesn't. Not gonna worry! Yeah, I mean, worse it happens, right? So it doesn't fly. Yeah. Alright. All right, you want to give it a try this time? <laughs> I was just thinking, put a giant piston on the front so it can like tip itself onto <laughs> its tail and then just like vertical lift off. Well, let me check the gyros really quick because I'm curious about those. Okay, they're turned on, right? Yeah. Yes, they've got power. Okay, that's what we want it. It's doing what we want it to do there. See, I'm kind of curious about it because of the fact that normally gyros, mm -hmm. you'd be able to tip the uh, the vehicle right now mm -hmm. in some way. Yeah, maybe it's just not. Maybe it's just not enough gyros. What's the mass of the ship at the moment? Um, I didn't check. But usually speaking, I mean, small gyros are usually pretty powerful for the mass. Yeah. Um, let me see here. Grid mass is 100,000. A little bit plus. Alright, so we're gonna go... Gyro. So we're going to add a bunch of gyros. <laughs> okay. It will fly today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's definitely space for them, so... Yeah. I put them somewhere around here. Well, it's just a prototype. You can always figure it out. Oh, it's not like it's gonna matter too entirely much. Ow. Yeah. Come here, you. Right. Is its uh, hydrogen levels filling up? Probably, I'm not paying attention to it a second. Grab a couple more bits. And okay, then... I'm seeing it. I am seeing it bounce a little bit now. Okay. So maybe more gyros. <laughs> wow. I'm just not used to this, needing like this many gyros for this. How many parts? How many gyros are you grabbing? Pardon? Are you Which grabbing gyro part? parts? No, I was just grabbing ice. Gonna stock it up a little bit more. 
What's sad is that the gyros add mass too. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Ice. Yeah. Ice it baby. Have a lot of ice on it. And it is at twenty three percent. So needs a lot more. Yeah. It's fine. Must need like a small refueling station. Like build it up and uh connect it to the connector there. Oh trust me, that's always been in the plans. Once you said you wanted the once you said you wanted a vehicle, I was like, okay. <laughs> well we're gonna have a refueling station somewhere. Okay, let's take a look at that now. Okay, I'm seeing it bounce a lot more now. Oh, cool. Still not enough to tip it up on its own. Hmm. Because <coughs> you should be able to, basically, you should be able to slew the thing. Interesting though to replace the wings at some point uh, with rotating wings or something. Let's get you lined up here. So I think that if you can get this thing off the ground. Mm -hmm. The gyros might kick in. Hmm. Because I don't know if it's just. You see how it's bouncing now? Do you see that at all? Or... I don't see it. Hmm. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean much on my side. Let's see. Uh, maybe more gyros. <laughs> it's gonna like lift off the ground and all of a sudden. I'm just like twitch the mouse and it'll like do a barrel roll and flop down to the ground. Do, 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 do. More gyros. <laughs> I just keep coming with more ice. Okay. Wait. But it is burning oh, no. through it like pretty quick. Here we should be able to see. No, these are the batteries, aren't? Batteries are not very well charged. Uh. That doesn't surprise me. And hydrogen is really quite low, actually. Well, you've got something yeah. like 23 or 24 percent, but that's over, you know, the eight tanks or whatever you have. So you've got like three or four tanks worth of hydrogen. You actually have quite a bit of hydrogen. Yeah. Um, how many hydrogen tanks are there? One, 11, 12, 13? No, I can't be right. No, well, it's like, let's say eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, yeah, so seven. Sounds right. Mm hmm. There, it's bouncing. Hmm. 
Okay. More gyros. <laughs> All the gyro. Well, I'm wondering if the small gyros... So, gyros used to be alignment sensitive. Hmm. They would only apply uh, rotational force in okay. the direction that the, the lights were showing. Hmm. But they supposedly did away with that because it was really annoying when you were building ships because you had to figure out exactly how much, how many newtons of force you needed in mm -hmm. every direction, every rotational direction. And if you had uh, gyros counter to each other, they would counteract each other. Hmm. That seems like it would have been a long time ago, though. Yeah, that was years ago. But I'm wondering if the small gyros still do that. I don't know. I don't really recall that kind of behavior, but... Oh, no. Okay. That, I take it back. We've got plenty of gyro power. <laughs> okay. Oomt, 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 <laughs> I fell oomt, off the ship. Oomt, oomt. It's shaking so much now. Um, yeah, I just changed my controls. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you should be able to fly now. I'm Change, out of here. Changed your controls? Yeah. Instead of trying to use the keyboard to fly, I was using the mouse. I, I ended up using mm, I see, yes. Yeah, so um, you might have a little too much gyro in there. Um, go for Do it. That. <laughs> I'm going to go get my ship Don't out of the me. way. <laughs> okay, parking brake. Off. Ah! Do not slam into this thing. Okay. So we are going to turn... Get rid of that. Get a good long run going on here. Okay. You ready? Uh, one second. That says it's turning everything on and off. Why is it... Wait a second. We're going uphill a little bit. Nice. I'm going to use this natural incline, I think, in here. Mind you, just we don't want too much of it, because we don't want to be driving. Whoa! I can make my ship jump. Yeah. By pressing X? <laughs> okay, that's so weird. Uh, okay, maybe I'll try that too. There you go. Okay, I'm ready. This this way. I have a thruster that isn't turned on for some reason. Mm. Okay. Um, nine and uh, here we go. Let's see, speed, lift, up, 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 up. Come on. No, it's just got that, like, weird... Oh, looks like you got off the ground there a little bit. I jumped. I think I just need to get the timing of that right. Okay. Well, this, you've got th this, you've, you've got three large thrusters on that thing. It should be able to... If you can get the nose up, you should be able to take off. Yeah, should be able to. <laughs> up there you go you're up look at that Poor. okay you look like you may have achieved stall speed <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. how's it handling uh good yeah you look like you're at stall speed you're kind of coasting in now yeah well I'm trying to thinking about landing it, so. Go for it. Here, I'll clear the runway for you. 
<laughs> That's good. Okay, I really don't know how the landing is going to go. There you go. Your runway is clear, sir. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh god, the wings are going to come off. Oh, no. wow. Nice. Well done. Cool, that was something. Uh, well, it's going to take a little bit of practice to get this thing to lift off. But I think it is time to bring it over here <laughs> and fuel it up. Because that obviously needs a lot more of that. Yeah, fuel's never a bad idea. Uh, let's, uh... Let's secure those weapons. I mean, it goes through a lot of fuel. Well, you've got three large hydrogen thrusters on it. You're going to burn fuel. Yeah. Ridiculously fast. You're going to go through about 1% every second or so. Yeah. We should be able to lift up pretty fast. Yeah, once we get once we figure out where the the where the problem is, and I, I do think it's partially the uh, that airplane parts mod. Mm hmm Because of the the script that's in, uh, associated with those parts. Yeah. Well, I mean that's fine. It um, works. You just have to kind of like get it up to speed, give it a little jump, and then it uh, pull up on the nose correctly at the right time. <laughs> Yeah, it's just figuring out where your, your points are on it. Mm hmm Yeah, well. Alright. So much ice. Yeah. Solar panel lining. got going on here. Almost sounds like maybe there's something loose rattling around. I know, hopefully it's not the case, but... Yeah. Um... Okay, mm. well... Batteries are... 26% and draining? There we go. They are draining. Does the sheer number of gyros on here <laughs> mean that the, they're going to be draining a lot faster? Um, possibly. All right, gyro. You can turn. You can. I was going to say, group them up and turn them off. Yeah. <laughs> gyros. Cap locks. Change, please. Gyros. Good. And save off. Great. And does that? Okay. Gonna My ship is refueled. battered. Still look like they're draining. Well, you've got things like life support, the LCDs, the, with the oh, splays yeah. on there. I guess I'm breaking down a lot of water right now. Yeah. Okay. That's... Alright, so your ship flies. Yeah! Not bad, sir. Yeah. Matter of I don't know, tweaking something and then getting it to fly into orbit next. Well, now it's, yeah, basically just finishing off the uh, superstructure of the whole thing. Mm hmm. Figuring out what you need, what you don't, and getting it built out. Because once we get the rest of the thrusters online, then it won't be an issue. Because mm -hmm. once you once you have the atmospheric thrusters, you'll have a little bit more uh, lift potential. Yeah. So. All right. Awesome. Cool. Hmm. All right. I don't know anything else we have to do right now. No, I think that's probably about it. Okay. What do you think? Um, for right now, it's probably okay. Um, get it. Yeah, think about what needs okay. fixed and changed, and we pretty good. I'll have to take a look more at right. that mod too. 
Yeah, because like I said, I, I know that the mod author had said that when you're building wings, to fill the wings in with um, their version of the blocks. Mm. Because uh, the script looks at all of the blocks that are, are tagged with whatever their creation tag is, their ID. Mm-hmm. And applies the uh, the lift vector hmm. to the block, right? So, the uh, the more the blocks you have in the structure, the more lift you're going to get. Does it include ones that are underneath, like hidden, like two or three layers in? I don't think so. I think it's just the ones that are on the surface. Yeah, one would hope so. Yeah, hopefully. Cool. Yeah. So, if that's it. We we're going to say thank you all for stopping in. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure Yay, you smash that you. like button. <laughs> if you are new to either of our channels, there are links for both of us on each other's channels. Please be sure to follow those links. Throw a follow or subscribe, you know, whichever terminology you happen to happen to uh, like. Mm -hmm. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to throw those down in the section below either of our videos, and mm. one of us will get back to you at some point. Um, I've been pretty bad about it because I'm actively writing on or working on papers right now. So, mm, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got a bunch of replies to get back to too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's nice and, to have that many replies. Yeah, it's it's a nice problem to have. It's yeah. a nice problem to have. So. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. Hope you all have a fantastic day. Enjoy the rest of your week. And we'll see you back here next time for more Space Engineers multiplayer. Mm -hmm. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>